Hello everyone, it is Jamil with Melmid Studios. Just a really quick video for you today. Um, I just wanted to show you um, just what sort of data is being collected when you shoot RAW on the Canon EOS R3. This photo is from a shoot that I did with Emily. Um, I have the video, it was a POV video that I did, so you can kind of see the process. Um, and the mindset and you know just some of the interactions between me and the model uh, during a photo shoot be sure to check that video out if you are interested with the Canon EOS R3 but this picture here I just wanted to show you like I said just how much detail and data is actually captured now as you can see here I was shooting in AP mode or AV mode um, it was at 1 2,000th of a second f 2.8 and ISO was at 100 now it's interesting to see here but um as i was panning the camera as the model was walking we started with the picture perfectly exposed but we were shooting into the light so at the more she started walking this way and the more i panned the darker the images started to get so you're going to see here some of them, like this one, for example, I played around with the, the colors. This one I actually edited. I kind of like the idea of the silhouette. But just uh, ignore those two and just kind of look at this, this, that. And just see as she's walking, it's getting darker and darker. I wanted to show you if we can recover this video. This is a raw file. And um, as you zoom in here, you can see details of her face, but it is dark, and I would say that it's probably not usable. So here's some of the options. Now, we're gonna drop some of the shadows here, or lift some of the shadows, I should say. You're gonna see the picture brightens up. Uh, let's, let's go to about 45. Now, if you zoom in here, you see your face better, but the brighter we get, typically you're gonna see a bit more grain. See, as we open this up, if you open this all the way, you're going to see a lot of grain. But the mere fact that you could recover the photo to this degree from barely being able to see her face prior. Let's just, uh, let's go back here. So just for comparison, look at this. So from that to let's say this, that's impressive to me. Now let's drop the highlights, uh, not all the way, we'll go down to about 30, minus 33. One, two, where are we going here? Oh yes, uh, I believe it's under detail for noise reduction. Let's see if we can slightly decrease some of that noise. And I guess what I'm trying to show guys is that you may not even use the picture after recovering it, but you could, in a, in a pinch you absolutely could uh, let's see what else we could do here if we actually select Emily in particular I'm just gonna zoom in go back to my mask kind of brighten her up a little bit we're going to get the contrast right there lift the shadows a little bit more drop the clarity drop a little bit of the textures and then we want to get back to where is it uh, here so depending on what you're looking for in a picture this is this is quite this is quite good for a recovery guys and then just say I want to drop like I want to put a filter on there let's use one of uh, Let's see, Cinematic 2, and I like that one right there. Yeah. Like, that's, that's impressive, guys. But this is just to show you what you can possibly recover with these uh, CR3 files from the Canon R3. Um, I was impressed, because I know in other circumstances, um, you would have so much noise and mind you this is not the sharpest picture but it is doable like it's just incredible to me like what can what can be recovered from the original photo that was definitely underexposed 
So let's go to um, this picture right over here as a comparison. So look at that, guys. From this to this. Just based on my experience with previous cameras, this was something that really stood out to me as quite amazing. So just um, wanted to show you guys a little demo of what sort of image you can recover from these underexposed files um, in a situation where, although I was shooting an AV to uh, compensate for, uh, you know, the ch possible changes in lights like this, um, it's pretty amazing to see that the camera was still able to save the image. So yeah, if you guys have any questions or comments, or if you think I'm over exaggerating about, um, you know, how superior these files are, and just let me know in the comments. I'm always open to discussion and dialogue, but I just wanted to kind of give an example. Coming out of the Canon EOS R3, um, just really blown away um, by the files, the quality and the dynamic range and uh, the flexibility of the files. So yeah, guys, uh, thank you for you know tuning into this shorter video. Um, if you want to see more content, be sure to hit that subscribe button. If you haven't seen this video yet, where we actually you know film the 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 BTS, if you will, or the POV of the photo shoot. Uh, be sure to check that out and also look for some of my work on Instagram at Milmid Studios. Thank you guys so much for the support. And at the end of the day, guys, don't forget to keep on shooting.